Let's not play around because you already know what you're here for. Today we're ranking all 50 maps in Evade. Yes, that's 50 maps. Now, this list contains every single map that's been added in the game in its lifespan. Easy maps, normal maps, hard maps, expert maps, Christmas maps, Halloween maps, removed maps, every single map that's been in the game at some point of time is in this list. Now, let's just start with Brutalist Void real quick because it's a map that I can't really rate because I have not played it at all and none of the public has played it. It's a map that's only available for developers so yeah i can't really rate a map that i've never played before <laughs> so yeah let's just start off with arid ruins man now this is the map that has been in since the start of the game you know it's a map that has a lot of fond memories of back in august and stuff like that and back then i rated it like very highly because it looked so good back then but since there's so many new maps now that I think has out surpassed Arid Ruins. I think it's getting a B plus for me. But there's so many maps now that I feel like has outdone Arid Ruins in terms of its visual quality, in terms of gameplay. And secondly, yeah, Art Exhibit. Art Exhibit got removed, man. And I hate that, to be honest. Art Exhibit is one of the best maps. And I think it still is today, man. I love to play that map so much. All the pictures, all the references, all how, how the game plays. It's an A for me, man. I love this map, bro. Why did it get removed i don't understand it was such a good map we need to bring our exhibit back it does it did not deserve to be cut off like that the back rooms was one of the maps that i said that it was one of my favorites when i first came out but four months later and seeing all these new maps the back rooms feels dry it feels bland now i understand you know it's the back rooms whoa you know as some sort of like inner bias between all of us but if you look at the facts man if you compare this map to the maps that surround back rooms it kind of looks terrible <laughs> in my opinion it's super bland it's got the same walls the layout's random it's not that fun to play after a while but i'm giving this a d plus wow it went from like a plus or a tier to like d plus bro <laughs> it just went down like six tiers the fall back rooms man since there's so many maps in the game now i have to get so much more critical the quality that we expect from a evade map has increased so much in these four months due to how good some of the event maps are catacombs now this is a great map no questions asked bro this is such a great map to play i love all like the slimy muscle that's coming out all like the holes with like the bites with like the teeth oh my god bro this is such a gory and fun map and this was one of my favorite maps in the halloween event actually you know what? i'm gonna bump it down to a tier man i feel like its layout is the thing that's holding it back it's a bit generic its layout but other than that it gives a very gritty a very grimy feel to halloween maps it was exactly what the Halloween maps needed man and I'm really happy that it stayed because I feel like this was one of the strongest Halloween maps added in that event and also Cemetery now Cemetery I feel is a map that wasn't as strong in any way as Catacombs it wasn't as scary it wasn't as horrifying it wasn't as grimy you know what I mean yeah it's a cemetery yes it's horror yes it's spooky I guess but it does the bare minimum man it's just nah <laughs> it does not impress you know what I mean even when I first played it like all those months ago it just felt like mid <laughs> it's going to the city it's not spooky it's not scary the layout's confusing it's tight and small the decoration was all right yeah but like other than that the map was just eh in my opinion it was just mid <laughs> now cliffshire now this is the christmas map and i liked this map a bit i had some problems with it you know what i mean because i felt like it was one of the least christmas like maps compared to like ones like festive factory or festive gathering those were really fun maps that really captured the spirit of christmas a lot but cliffshire i feel like it just did the bare minimum you know what i mean if you remove like the snow and you remove like the christmas tree cliffshire could have just been a normal map in my opinion opinion of it has gotten way more sour since i made my deep dive video you can watch that at the top right section of this video right now but yeah my opinion of it has gotten much more sour since i made that last video but i think it's still an all right map to play purely for the fact that there's a lot of hidden walkways a lot of hidden passages a lot of alternative routes that you can take in Clipshire, which I honestly brings more depth to like an otherwise simplistic layout. Now, complex. Bro, this dirt map deserved to get removed. I hated playing this map. I feel like Complex was a map that was super large, man. It should have been cut down to like 50% or 60% on the map because it was just too big, man. And it was just not fun to play, in my opinion. Because you could just legitimately hide in the corner and the next boss would not catch you at all. Yeah, it's trash, man. It deserved to get removed. I'm sorry if it's like a really classic map, but it just does not work in the context of Evade. I'm sorry. Now, Construct. It's a map that's good. It's a map that's good. I like this map quite a lot. 
I love how open and spacious it is. Snowy, chilly vibes. The industrial layout. There's so much stuff to explore in Construct. And unlike Complex, it's at the perfect size, you know what I mean? It's not a map that's like a slog to get through. You actually need to run in this map to actually win. But the attractions, the things that they offer in Construct are much better than, let's say, a Complex in my opinion. Yeah, I'm giving this a con I'm giving Construct a B. I like it quite a lot. Crossroads. Now, Crossroads is like this old classic 2008 map that pretty much all of us are familiar with and I honestly think that the, the evade port does it a lot of justice it modernized it for evade and I love how they did just take like the original map just pour it over very lazily they actually changed some of the layouts and modernized it to fit for evade and I love the extra step that they did for it in my opinion of course it's the crossroads is not a very visually appealing map by all any metric whatsoever and that's just because of with the 2008 layout it's not really a fault of the mapper itself it's more of the map that they're aspiring off of. It's a map that has its place in the game, but it's not visually stunning. The gameplay is just alright to good in my opinion. But overall, it's a fun map to play in my opinion. And somehow, it just works in like the context of Evade, especially with all like the modernizations and the slight tweaks that the mappers have given to Crossroads to make it viable for Evade. Yeah, B tier for me. I like this a lot. Now, Death Maze. This was such a scary map to play. This map is completely bare bones in my opinion. It's just brick wall a maze and that's it it's such a thrill-seeking map man i love it a lot when i play like all the like normal or hard maps in evade i mostly go on autopilot mode you know what i mean i try to attempt cool tricks i try to trim i try to talk to friends but when you're playing death maze you can't do that bro when when you play a map like death maze it switches into, into your head and makes you actually pay attention to the game like you never had before it completely shows what an expert map should look like in my opinion and yeah a plus for me i love playing this map bro stop picking it more man when i play public service nobody likes to pick death maze stop playing death maze but it's such a good map it's getting slapped on right now desert bus this was a map that i showed a lot of love to in my original map tier list but now uh, i mean it's still all right it's still good but when you look at the other maps in the game and then you look at bro i'm repeating myself man you know what it is man it's not that as good as it used to be yeah i think yeah it's getting a b for me uh I, I just don't like it as much anymore drab no honestly i love drab man it feels like such an experimental like such an unfinished map but it has a slight level of polish to it it's a map that I felt like goes into like a sort of direction that none of the other maps have. It's untextured layout feels really good. The underground section feels very well fleshed out. The layout is great for gameplay. And there's trimping, man. There's so much trimping that you can do in this map. There's so many cool tricks that you can do in drab, man. But I understand. Visually, it's lacking compared to a map like Catacombs or a map like Every Ruins. You know, it's not a map that's beautiful at all. But gameplay-wise, you could do so many things in drab that you could not do anywhere else. Yeah, I'm giving this a B plus, man. This was a great map for me. Elijah Tower. Now, this is one of the maps that was the most prettiest when it first came out. And I still feel about that today. I love the bright colors. And I feel like the map works especially well in day. I feel like it looks a bit ugly at night, in my opinion. It works way better with way more brightness to it because of its bright yellow walls, red wall. It feels like I'm in like a like a high class office block and just running around, just looking at everything. All the decorations, the furniture, they all fits very well in Elijah, man. It's getting a B plus for me. It's getting a B plus for me. Now, Facade also does the same thing. Drab does, but I feel like in a lesser extent because Drab is nowhere near as boring as Facade. Facade. Facade is a boring map. I'm sorry, bro, but it's super boring. Yeah, it was off the wall. Yeah, it was cool when I first, it first came into the game. But now, it just doesn't do as much for me anymore. But nowadays, all that effect has kind of fallen off of me at this point. For newer players, they might still feel like that. But for like experienced players like me, I don't really like the map as much as I used to when it first came out. I'm giving this a C, man. It's still playable. It's still a fun map to play, I guess, from time to time. But if I were to play this map all day, I couldn't, bro. I couldn't last a single hour without calling it boring. Festive Factory. Now, I admit this was one of the maps that I heavily underrated in my deep dive video. 
I heavily underrated this. I gave it like a B or something, and bro, a B? What? This map is nowhere near the level of Crossroads or Desert Bus. It's like an R exhibit or Catacombs level. It's getting an A for me, man. I legit underrated this so much. The decoration in this map is next level, bro. It's one of the best decorations in the game. I love how all the toys are scattered around. It's like Jar and Bobo references, or like the toys. Bro, I what was I smoking crack? I gave it a B? That's crazy to me bro i'm not an a it's an a there's no questions asked festive gathering now i still love this map quite a lot it still holds up to me man I, I still think it's a good map in my opinion i'll give this a b plus it's still a great map it's a it has a very simplistic layout it doesn't try and do much you know what i mean it's not anything that's good let's say it's not anything that's special but it does it the fundamentals very well and the decoration is also top tier and it's probably one of the best decorated maps in the whole christmas series yeah b plus for me a very solid map four corners <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> now, Four Corners went from one of the best favorite maps in the game to one of the most hated maps in the game. Like, literally, Four Corners used to be one of the maps that was picked the most. And now, I have not played Four Corners, man. And I have not played Four Corners once. I think it came out a few times, yes, but nobody picks it anymore. <laughs> and I kind of understand why, because Four Corners is a map similar to Facade. It's good, but it doesn't grow on you like that. It's good for the couple, like, the first 10 to 20 times that you play it. But after, like, the 20th time, it gets super boring boring it's the same stuff over and over again it's going to detail for me man it was one of the maps that was super cool you know the really simplistic four corners layout it was super cool on release day nah man it just doesn't hold up the same anymore frigid power plant now i feel like i slightly overrated this in my original deep dive video going back into it now i feel like it isn't as good as let's say as a festive gathering or a festive factory sure it looks cool it looks great and i love the industrial nuclear layout out of the map but other than that gameplay wise it's just all right i like some of the models some of the decoration i love how the truck is strategically placed they give you more areas more room to work with i love that aspect of the map still though i think it's b i still think it's a b i still think it's a good map i feel like it deserved its place in the christmas event but i feel like it's kind of kind of fallen over to the wayside for me frosty summit now anyone who has watched my latest christmas video knows that i love this map yeah and i still do i think it's probably the best map that came out from this christmas event and anyone that's played it can understand why man it looks so good the elf room the santa sleigh the gifts the christmas decoration the mountain layout the ray tree tracks oh my god this is such a great map i cannot pick anything that's wrong with it but in frosty summit one of the only perfect maps in invade where i can't critique it in any single way no matter which way i turn frosty summit around i could not critique it amazing man what an amazing map in my opinion it works so well in gameplay it works so well with its graphics and the concept of evade in general bro not nah, this man is just excellent man <laughs> not excellent amazing bro what am i saying and Hallow's Rail, also another amazing map. I love this map so much. If you don't know what Hallow's Rail is, or you forgot what it looks like, it was this theme park map that was super bright, super fun, super colorful. They had like rides that you can actually ride on, like what? That was so crazy, man. It's not a map, it's an easy map. It's not a map that I would like chase next button. It was a map that I would like to go as like an actual like attraction, man. If Hallow's Rail was its own game, and then there was like no next spots, and you just had to play theme parks and stuff like that i would play it bro i would play it because this map looks extremely stunning even for evade standards which i already think evade is a pretty game already it's not a map that i would play for gameplay but more of a map that i would play to explore and if the theme park aspects of the map were explored in more detail maybe like the shops were actually expanded upon maybe the, the rides were expanded upon it could have been released as like a solo game in of itself man it feels so weird that i'm chasing next bots in a game that is so large so so big so extravagant yeah a plus a plus for me icebreaker now this map is a map that i felt is all right but nothing else much other than that it, i love its icy layout by the way and i love how when you touch the water you can actually get hurt by it the sinking ship the buildings the mountain this map is a map that plays really well due to its uneven layout there's a lot of trimming that you can do actually some people might think it's kind of bland and i understand that but gameplay wise this is probably one of the most solid maps in the game its design is just all right its graphics is just all right but gameplay wise it's stunning it's perfect i'm giving this a b
IKEA. Now, this was one of the maps that I also rated very highly. And I still think it's very highly on my list, in my opinion. It has kind of gone boring for me as of late. And I don't see much people playing it anymore. I think I only got IKEA like, what, a couple of times while I was playing Evade. It's not as popular as it used to be, but I think it still holds up, man. The best thing about this map is that it nails IKEA down to a T. It nails IKEA down very accurately. And does it in like its casual Evade style. It chose like this sort of layout. That was perfect for evade. I think one way I've pushed this map over to like amazing tier was if it had three floors. If this map had three floors, it would be crazy, man. I would give it an A+. But yeah, I'm gonna give this an A in my opinion. It's no longer amazing tier. It does not have that same halo. An A tier map, A plus map must have. But it deserves a spot in A tier nonetheless. Insane Asylum. Now, this was one of the maps that I didn't really like on pawn release. And even then, like as I play it now, it's alright. I like its layout. I like the grimy colors. I think it did well on that aspect, on that Halloween aspect. But I like a catacombs. That grimy feeling just didn't last for me. I would like to play it. I have no problem playing it. The but the problem is is that its effect didn't last as long as Catacombs did for me. Still a very solid map, and I applaud the people who made it. Now jungle. A lot of people hate jungle, man. I see a lot of people in the comments just hating on jungle, and I don't understand. Jungle is a fun map to play. I actually love playing this map, bro. Yes, it has a simplistic layout, but anything other than that is great. When you first explore the map and you first start to experience and feel the map on its own, it's a great map, man. I don't understand why it was the hate on this map. It explores Evade into like a new angle that no none of the other maps in Evade has done already. Tell you Kyoto, but we'll get to that later. Anyways, I don't understand the hate for jungle, bro. I think it's a good map. I think it's a good map. Nothing that's special, yes, but it's solid nonetheless. It deserves a B for me. I don't know how I'll feel about this map from three months from now, but as of now, I'm enjoying this map. I don't know, jungle feels way less fun compared to Kyoto in my opinion, and then puts it over to B plus tier, honestly. I love the memes, the layouts, the Japanese style aesthetic that none of the other maps have done before. And unlike jungle, I feel like Kyoto executes it to a much higher level of proficiency. It's not A tier, it's not A plus tier. For you to get to like an A tier or A plus tier, you must have that X factor. You must have something that's like crazy. If, if your map is solid and just fun, you deserve a B plus or a B at the very least. Laboratory. Now, this is a map that I kind of hated on release and I still hate it even more now. <laughs> I don't know, man. This map just kind of rubs me the wrong way. Yeah, sure. The laboratory stuff is cool for the most part. There's like that Bob M nuke or whatever in the middle of that, which I like quite a lot. But other than that, its layout just feels weird in my opinion. I just don't like it that much. It's one of the smaller maps in the game and its decoration isn't anything too special to make it like a small map and even then its gameplay is also mediocre this map just doesn't feel as fun or as exciting as a map like let's say crossroads or desert bus or drab it doesn't excite me as much so yeah i'm giving this a d plus i understand there's some merits to it so a lot of its decoration is also pretty nice but other than that the map sucks i'm sorry lakeside cabin now this is also one of the maps that i've grown kind of tired of i play this game more than more lakeside cabin is a christmas map it's one of the newest maps added to the game and I feel like it's one of the weaker maps that come up from the Christmas series. I don't know, it just hasn't aged as much for me. It doesn't hasn't aged as well compared to the other Christmas maps. I think it's still alright, it's still a C. There's still a lot of fun stuff that you can do in Lakeside Cabin. I love how a, it's actually qu a, quite a big map actually. If you go and explore the, like the outskirts of the map, it's actually quite big. There's a lot of things that you can do, but that's just what it is. The map is just alright. It doesn't impress, it doesn't do anything that's like noteworthy or anything. It's just a cabin by the lakeside yeah that's it that's all you get i'm getting giving it a c library now this was one of my favorite maps to when it came out on release day but nowadays not so much don't get me wrong i feel i still feel like library is a very solid map to still play but the decoration has kind of fallen over to the wayside for me but unlike back rooms where i felt like the decoration was completely boring library has a few nice features that give it a sort of eerie aesthetic that not a lot of the maps in this game go to like the library literally has no books 
man. I'm giving this a B. It's still, it's still a very solid map, still a very fun map to play, but it's no longer a map that I would enjoy as much as I used to anymore. Mansion. Now, this is a map that has kind of grown on me. I, I was kind of iffy about it on release day, but I've been playing it a lot very recently. I don't know. I don't know why Like people started picking Mansion again for some reason. And I've been enjoying the map quite a lot. I love its very classy, very grand aesthetic that it gives off the red walls, the kitchen furniture. And I love the layout of the map. There's so many rooms and stuff that you can go into and hide in. It gives off a very chaotic feel, especially when the map is this tight. And especially in the in big team servers, bro, Mansion is a chaos, man. But that's what I love about the map. It's tight, it's fun, it's grand, it's classy. Yeah, B plus for me, man. A really fun map to play, honestly. Mayday. Oh man, Mayday. I, I honestly, I don't really like this map that much. And I've kind of fallen it over to the wayside even more now. I kind of dislike it now like a little bit because I've seen people pick Mayday all the time, even though it's not that good in my opinion. Mayday is getting a D plus for me. I know like on paper, it's a very good map. It's very visually appealing, but it's too small. It's legit just like a one small circle and there's just chaos happening. I can tell you how to win at Mayday, bro. Just go over to the aeroplane and just sit there with barriers. The next ones are not gonna come at you, bro. Especially in big team servers because everybody's just running around. So if you just sit in the aeroplane, that's basically a guaranteed win for you already. This doesn't make sense, bro, in my opinion. I wanna pick this personally, Maze. Now this was also one of the maps that I rated highly in my original video. But looking back at it now, I think it's one of the maps that still holds up to some extent. I know there are some maps like Four Corners or Back Rooms, like some of these maps that have just completely died off for me in terms of interest. But Maze has always been like a map that oh, I always had a safe spot for. Concept is really cool that you can see players through the walls but not the next spots. So you have to use your hearing and guess like where the next spots are. Like yo, that's such a cool map in my opinion. But in terms of of like the standards that we have now like the new maps that we have maze just simply does not cut it to be part of an a tier or even a b plus in my opinion i think it still deserves a place at b but as the quality of the maps increase i don't know if it's gonna keep going down or it's just gonna remain at b i'm not too sure maybe we'll see in six months mountain cottage now this was one of the maps that i think is one of the weakest to come out of the christmas event and i still do think so as well i feel like mountain cottage was one of the weakest maps to come out from the event and honestly it's just because its Christmas theme isn't really as expanded upon as many of the other maps that rank really high like Festive Gathering, Festive Factory, Frosty Summit. These maps that really put a lot of effort into its decoration and still play well and well Mountain Cottage doesn't really do good at both of those things and even then its layout is not that fun in my opinion. Honestly I have to say this is probably the weakest map to come out from the Christmas update. I'm giving this a D plus. I wouldn't personally play this map a lot. Neighborhood. Now, Neighborhood is a map that's just solid, man. The sewer systems, the amount of clutter in the middle, the cul-de-sac. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love this map as well. And honestly, visually, it's also pretty appealing, to be honest. I love it especially at nighttime because it gives out this gloomy feel. It works well in day or night mode, which is something that I can't really praise a lot of maps in this tier list for. Yeah, it's going to great tier. It doesn't really have that special feature like an artist exhibit or Ikea or Festive Factory but it's still a very solid map and I think it deserves so much more love than it does now. Nemo's Rest is one of the map that I kind of liked but didn't like and yeah I agree now my opinion of it has gotten a bit more sour as time went on. I think I'm gonna give this a C in my opinion. I, I love the clutter around the middle yeah I love some of the decorations but other than that Nemo's Rest is a very forgettable map in terms of its graphics and in terms even even in layout, it's still pretty mediocre as well. I think this is a very mediocre map. It's a map that I would like to play, yeah, a few times with friends, maybe, but other than that, it's not really a map that I would play over and over again. Nightmare Library, in my opinion, is one of my favorite maps of all time, and a map to come up with the Halloween update. A plus tier, no questions about that. I love the doors reference, that was super cool to do. And this map is one of the largest maps in the game, while still keeping the quality up, man. The amount of props in Nightmare Library is insane. It's got like cars, got samurais, they got a cafe as well. Bro, this map is just flowing with creativity, man. It's also a map that's similar to Harold's Rail. It's not really a map that I would like play, but more of a map that I would like
like to explore around with. This was probably one of the best maps in the game visually and it also does a good job gameplay wise as well. It expanded on so many ideas and I feel like a lot of time and love went into Nightmare Library. I'm pretty sure it's made by like four to five players. Maybe that's why it feels so extravagant and so large. But yeah man, Nightmare Library deserves an A plus for me. It's an amazing map and it's a great map even by Evade standards. Pool Rooms. Now this is also another map that I feel my opinion souring as time went on. It's not as fun as it used to be to be honest. It didn't hold up in my opinion. Pool Rooms did really hold up as well as the other maps. I'm giving this a D plus. I, lo I like the back rooms reference. Yeah, I love the, the gray, the mostly gray design, the blue floors. As of gameplay, uh, meh, it's just pretty meh. Prog Square is a map that I didn't really like from the update. I still think it's not that good as of now. Layout is too simplistic. The Christmas decorations feel a bit half ass. But I love the Prog angle that it went over with. Because Prog, in my opinion, is a very beautiful city. And I felt like Prog Square did it a bit of justice as well. It's a high C, probably like a C plus. And sadly, I forgot to put C plus in for some reason. Why? But yeah, Prague Square is an alright map. I would play it sometimes, but not too much in my opinion. Pumpkin Emporium. Now, this is also another favorite map of mine. Dude, literally half the map is covered with like crops and stuff like that. This is probably one of the more horrifying maps in the game. Layout is so different compared to a lot of the other maps, man. It's got like a movie sitting in, in the middle. The kitchen has the, the developers inside. It's got trees and stuff like that. There's even a parking area at the back end. Bro, it's just amazing map. In my opinion. It flows with creativity. I'm giving this a B plus. I mean, it's kind of slightly inches into an A tier, but I think it doesn't have that sort of X factor that pushes it over to A tier. If it had like a little bit more strengths added to it, I could see it just going over to A tier. But yeah, it stays at B plus for me. Seraph Research is a map that I've liked since the beginning, and I also like now. This was also one of the most visually stunning maps in the game, one of the best maps in terms of gameplay, and was personally my favorite. The first map that I've ever played in the vein, like ever. A for me an aim for me. A very solid map and honestly has stood the test of time for me because of its really cool layout, it's because of how many secrets it holds, how much movement that you can do. Bro, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's an amazing map. It's an amazing map. Silver Mall. Wow. This is a map that came out with Ikea and I think it was... Was it Drab? I think it was Drab. Yeah, I think these, these three came out about the same time. But yeah, Silver Mall is also another great map for me. It used to be around B to C tier because of its old layout but now they changed and revamped the layout more to give more walkways, more alternative paths, remove some of the clutter around the map. I love Silver Mall a lot. I swear to god like some people don't know there's a movie theater in Silver Mall. I wouldn't say where but you have to go explore it yourself. There's a movie theater in Silver Mall and so many people don't know it. There's so many secret easter eggs they can find at Silver Mall as well. Yeah I love it. B plus tier in my opinion. Station. Station is a map that I felt has gotten way more dry as time went on. It's a map that I felt aged super poorly, even though it came out relatively early compared to a Seraph research on IKEA. And even then, I feel like Station's layout is a bit too small. Maybe they should have expanded on the underground section more. And I felt like expanding on the surface is too much in my opinion. They feel should have expanded more on the underground area. Like more train tracks added into the game. It's not really fun to me anymore. I wouldn't pick this personally. And I think a lot of the community also agrees with me on this one too. Yeah, it gets a D plus for me. Train Terminal, in my opinion, is the hardest map in the entire game. I don't know, Brutal This Void may be the hardest map map in the entire game but we don't have access to that map so who cares. It's a map that I think it's super cool and it relies a lot on skill as well. There's like trains coming around the train tracks and you have to dodge them as well as the next part. I only won this like a couple of times maybe two or three times. Super cool map with a super cool design, super cool layout, such a super cool idea man. Honestly I'm thinking an A plus on this one. It was such a fun idea. Nah I'm gonna drag it down to A. I'm gonna drag it down to A. To be an A plus it needs to be perfect. While train terminal is nice and train terminal is excellent i don't think it fits in the amazing tier like that in my opinion it doesn't feel right seeing it next to let's say a nightmare library or hallows rail you know what i mean i think it deserves place next to a festive factory on ikea because it's just that fun to play with it offers such a strong challenge it fits the expert theme very well considering how hard it is trap rooms now this is a map that i hate bro because i have not worn trap rooms for the past four months i think ever since i made that tier list i have never worn 
one trap rooms in my entire life because I keep losing because of like lava and stuff like that. Bro, this map depends so much on luck and I hate that in my opinion. I hate that. I just get so unlucky with trap rooms. Like, I don't think I've ever won since I made that video all those months ago. And I hate the element of luck that come with the trap rooms, man. It feels so unfair at times. There's some people that I know has never lost in trap rooms, but I just can't do it, bro. Because I just keep getting killed by either windows or lava, something dumb like that. Yeah, no, no, trash, trash, terrible, bro. <laughs> just get into the bin. Trim. Now, this is another map. It's a secret map and it's meant just for fun or trimping or whatever. But that doesn't mean that I have to rate it highly. But whenever trim just comes on, I just mess around a little bit. But I can't wait to go to any of the other maps in the game that I feel it has way more interesting thing and has its ideas way more fleshed out than Trimp has. Yeah, it's, I'm going to D tier for me. Tudo Meno is one, I think it's one of the stronger games to come up from the Halloween update. Its design is pretty mediocre, it's just a mano inside and whatever. But I feel like the decoration that surrounds Tudor Mano is executed to perfection, man. It's a map that I really enjoy playing and just looking around and stuff like that. This the semi-cemetery at behind the mano. And even the mano itself is very well decorated and very well finished. It's a well-groomed map with a lot of fun ideas. Yeah, I'm giving this a B plus. It's a great map to have. Underground facility. It's a two-floor map that allows people to see like the bottom half of it it has a really cool design a really cool layout yeah it's gotten a bit old since then it's been like four months it, it didn't do as well for me but i still think it holds quite well it's one of the maps in the game that has been here since release and i still enjoy playing actually warped estate is a map that i think is super cool bro i think it deserves an a it's one of the coolest maps in the entire game that allows you to explore the weird side of Evade. The design of this map is super off the wall. And unlike facade, like that effect doesn't fade away. The crystal in, in the middle looks so good, man. It looks super amazing, man. It feels like I'm in like a showcase. And the map also plays really well. It doesn't have the same halo as like a Nightmare Library or Hallow's Rail. It kind of falls a bit under that. But Warped Estate was still, was still a very solid pick in my opinion. And I feel like it should be given more attention. Because it's sort of underrated. I don't see many people talking about Warped Estate to that extent. Winter Palace was one of my favorites to come out of the Christmas event. And I think it still is. A tier for me. I love Winter Palace so much, man. I know some people kind of think it's kind of B tier or C tier, but I love Winter Palace, man. It's, it's the layout is so simplistic. Yeah, it works. It somehow works. I don't know why. The design is probably one of the best to come out from the Christmas update or any event in general. I think it's top five. Definitely one of the stronger A's on the list. And I thought the developers that made it, man, because it looks so well made. A lot of its ideas were fleshed out. It feels like the map is packed to the brim with decorations and that's what I love about it. From the update it was so under decorated but Winter Palace really does it all. It fits so much into so little and that's what I love about it. Yeah, A tier for me man. I love what the developers have done with Winter Palace. Work Facility is a map that I don't know when it came out bro. Like literally this map just popped out of nowhere. I have no idea when it came out. But Wolf Facility is one of the more blander maps for me. It depicts like a sort of industrial vibe with the maps. But I hate the claustrophobic feeling of Work Facility, man. And I know it's intended to be like that, but that doesn't mean I have to like it, bro. But still, it has a few things that I like about it. It's very monotone coloring. I like that a lot. And gameplay-wise, it's not bad. It's probably in good tier in terms of gameplay. But overall, when I look at the game from like all angles, nah, it's just going to D plus for me. I don't really like it as much as I used to be. Whoa, that, that, that's a very huge list. Now you can see it, it's like sort of like a curve ish. If you flip it to its side, you know, most of the maps in the middle, a few maps at the top, and a few maps at the bottom. Evade maps have always had a very high level of polish, always had a very high level of quality. And because of that, I've always had to pick a very high standard for them. And even then, well, I like the majority of the maps. Majority of the maps land in B or B plus tier. I enjoy the majority of Evade maps. And I think that is a testament to how good Evade is from a technical standpoint. So yeah, if you're a map developer who has a map in this tier list right now or has multiple, please 
comment down your experiences on working on the map in the comments. And I hope you got a fat paycheck out of that, bro. And even for the mappers that got rejected, what are your experiences about mapping for Evade? Please tell me in the comments down below, man. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. This was not easy to make. I'm about to edit this, bro. Probably editing prof is crying right now. I am very sorry for what I'm about to do to him. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, if you want to check out another Evade video, I recommend checking out my complete guide to Evade. Uh, it's, it's a bit outdated now considering the Christmas update it's out but it's 29 minutes long i spent too much time making that video and i recommend you to watch it man and yeah see you guys in the next one peace